Hey guys, today we're gonna hire our Raspberry Pi and make a download MacPy magazine for us uh, for free as a PDF file. Uh, if you don't know it, MacPy is available online as a PDF and uh, you can download it for free. You can subscribe it uh, via an app. Uh, you can subscribe for traditional uh, subscription that will send it uh, to your home. But in the problem with uh, MacPy is that it's not released on a specific date. It's usually at the end of the month, however the date may vary. And here we're going to use uh, Raspberry Pi to check if a new um, edition of the magazine is available. And if yes, it's going to issue a notification uh, to a mobile device and uh, we can just press on it and download it to a mobile device, tablet, or if you modify it, you can also do it to your computer. So here is how. Whenever new MacPy is issued, Raspberry will check for existing documents, PDF files, and if there is a new one discovered, it will issue a notification to your mobile phone, which then can be pressed, and the Tasker profile will automatically make it downloadable on your phone. So as you can see, everything's working uh, correctly. Uh, just a note of an advice, I did modify one of the files in order to replicate this uh, otherwise I'll have to wait a month uh, to kind of show you how it works but the file will work uh, and the script will work as it is because uh, the MacPy appears on the various dates near the month I decided to run the script every day at 1am to make sure I won't miss it let's start with the script itself the script is for Python 3 and there's a few modules that you have to import, so that's going to be requests, OS, pickle, and uh, beautiful soup, and also a um, URL lib library request. The authentication key is highlighted. These are from the auto remote uh, plugin, so if you don't know how to obtain them, I'll post a link uh, somewhere on the screen as well. The whole mechanism of sending out a remote message is contained in a simple function and I will put together the message and the URLs and send it over to your preferred device. So this is the function and uh, this function will be called later on whenever there is a new uh, edition of a MacPy available. Also it's worth noticing that uh, URL library uh, request it's required for Python 3 uh, which contains one of the line of the code. Uh, if you're trying to write this code in uh, Python 2, so you have to uh, change a lot of things, if I'm honest. Selected on the screen are a few variables that we're going to declare uh, as we're going to use uh, this in the final script. We have declared two dictionaries, and the uh, dictionary, uh, old one, um, can be used for troubleshooting, just populated with all the issues um, of the MacPy and lead one of them to create a situation when um, Raspberry is checking and finds a new edition. First thing we're going to do is to try to read the pickle and load it to uh, one of the variables, the dictionary library old. So if we previously uh, did this, we should have this populated already. If this is first time, it will give us can't open a message and it will continue. Using beautiful soup, and we're going to look through the all the information from the website that we got and we're going to select only information that have a link so in this case it's going to have href uh, tag in addition to that if our file uh, if our link has a file type which is a pdf file then we're going to save it into dictionary library new the key of that dictionary is going to be a name of the file, so MacPy48 PDF, and the value is going to be just a URL to the file. Also, if this is the first time you're running this script, obviously we're not going to have anything and we don't want 50 odd files to be populated to our phone, so this if condition will take care of this. We also want to make sure that uh, next time we're going to run this file, uh, there is a pickle available, so we would load the results from the previous scan as old results. However, if our old dictionary uh, has some entries, then we want to compare the newly scanned dictionary, the old newly created dictionary, new, with the old one. We can do this by comparing each key in both dictionary. So if, dic if the key from the new dictionary is also in the old dictionary, we do nothing. Otherwise, we're going to print out the key on the, um, in the terminal and then send the message. We're going to compose a 
auto remote message which contains the URL key and then uh, separator between commands and uh, parameter and then we're gonna create an auto remote uh, message using the function created earlier. Once this is complete all we want to do is just to save a new um, list which will become an old list uh, next time we're going to run this script. Tasker part of this profile is extremely easy. We're going to use auto remote condition to intercept message filter magpie. This is something that's going to be present in the auto remote command part of the message. Now since we're gonna have this we're going to set our URL available as uh, array which is auto remote parameter one and we're going to set it to separate variable and then create a notification. Notification is going to have few information there like text and uh, download button that's going to issue a download uh, command. We're going to action this in a second profile. You can create whatever notification you really want. The only thing worth of mentioning that we're going to create one button and the button will be a download button. Upon, upon which if pressed, I will issue a download action to the other tasker profile. Our second profile will be responding uh, to the download um, action. It will be closing and the notification that we've just created and opening the PDF file from the um, variable that we're going to pass. So uh, using auto apps, I'm going to create new condition responding to um, download action. And then I'll create a new task and the task will contain a few steps. The notification I've created has ID 314 and that's going to be cancelled. We're going to browse the URL uh, for the MacPy variable we've set previously and then we're going to wait a little bit and return home. The wait task is needed to initialize the download and you might want to increase the wait time if you're running it for the first time to choose default application. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, the scripts, uh, file descriptions and the project descriptions are available through my website notenoughtech.com so just click on the link in the video to follow up through. You'll also find a written tutorial about this uh, project. Take care. Bye.